the idea to try making this kind of edge multicolored occurred to me for the first time when I was reading Maria's photo tutorial. I have spent some time thinking and trying, and actually I've succeeded. The question is how to position the tubes to get a strand single colored. It is what I've got. How did I join the poles? In fact, our edge is a three-tube rope, but made of strands, a three-strand rope. So every third tube has to repeat the color. Brown, orange, green, three. Again, brown, orange, green, and so on. I mean that the color repeats in every third tube. I've got 24 tubes. How I have joined them? At first I've taken two brown tubes. Here they are, south, north, west, east. Then I've added two more brown tubes between them. After that I've added an orange and a green tube between every two brown ones. This way I've distributed the tubes without any rule or more or less equally. As a result I've got 24 tubes of the base. 24 is divisible by 3, so every tube repeats the color. So I've got a semi-finished article. I've woven four, 9 rows in the technique of a regular rope. We finish it by pulling the working tubes through the network from the wrong side. That's all. The article is semi-finished. After priming I will cut the excessive remainders. Now let me explain how to distribute the tubes according to their color. Since every time we engage the following pole into the strand, then an orange strand has to precede an orange pole. Here is the top. It's better to start not from the top, but from some point less visible, because a starting point always looks a bit different. So, an orange pole. So we insert an additional tube prior to an orange pole, right here. Insert four additional orange tubes. My tubes are moistened, so if it's hard to insert them deep enough, you can help yourself with a knitting needle. Four tubes. Got it. Four tubes prior to an orange pole. It means that here we are going to insert brown tubes next to a green pole. One, two, three, four. Got it. And consequently here, where an orange tube is, we are going to join green ones. So we've prepared the strands. Now let's start working according to the principle we are familiar with. Take the green additional tubes, leave the orange pole unhitched, join the following green pole and lead the strand in front of two bunches behind the third one. Got it. So this way we've got a green strand. Now take the brown tubes, start twisting, join the brown pole, Repeat all the same actions. Just this time our edge will be multicolored, more fun looking. It is winter now, spring hasn't painted everything around bright yet, and I personally miss bright colors of autumn. Look, we've got three strands twisted. Then we involve a green pole in work again. And they are going to take turns like this. Like 
leave a brown one. And an orange one. And the up to end according to the same principle we followed while weaving a single colored edge. As a result we are getting a multicolored edge like this. I'd like to thank Maria once again for her detailed interpretation. It was very easy to learn it following her photo tutorial. The only thing I needed was some practice. Once again, I ask weavers not to give up if you fail for the first time. This kind of edge making does require some skills, but the result is worth it. Good luck to all of you!